Hey guys, you ready back it again with another video and today I'm going to show you what I'm working on as of now. It is a radio controlled um, RGB light and it's for an RC car. So I have my radio right here, which I set this knob to channel 3. So then on the receiver, um, I have the positive, the negative, and then here's the signal out and that goes to um, pin 2 on the Arduino. What the Arduino does is looks at the pulse width, determines a frequency, and sets that to an analog number. Um, then what I did was by turning this dial it would give me different numbers and then I set an if statement so if it was um, within a certain range the light would be a certain color. Let's see, so. so there's all that. So if we turn that back off, um, so let's look at the LED strip itself. So you can see I've had to cut it, and you can see down there it says plus 12 volts. So what it is is there's three LEDs in series, and that makes it so you can use, use them on 12 volts. So what I had to do was I wanted to make them um, for 5 volts, so I had to cut each LED out of that strip and um, scratch off that white coating in order to get to the copper to solder on. And that was a bitch because they're all the way it, it's actually made, they're, you, it's not what you think it would be. That's just what I, that's all I have to say on that. Now, since it's for an RC car, I have my um, speed controller, the motor, and then the battery. And then the wheel. If you're wondering like where I'm putting this, I'm going to be putting it on the wheel, but not just any wheel. It's a wheel that I designed. It's a 3D printed clear wheel for drifting, so it, it slides really nicely. Um, it's very really, really strong, like you can't even bend this really. Um, so I'm not worried about this star configuration. This right here took two hours to print. Two hours to print one drift wheel, but it only cost $1.25. So they have sets online for four tires, four drift tires for 25 bucks. I'm like, fuck that, I'll just print it for $1.25. So, if we put this over the LEDs, come on, there we go, just for now. Then we turn our channel three. You can see how bright that actually is. The camera actually had to dim itself. So, I'll go through the settings. So we have, we turn this dial once, so once. And you can see the number goes from, it says channel 3 right there, from negative 100 to 98, so that's one click. We have um, blinking white, and then mode 2, or just the next mode, I'm just going to go like that, is um, just a steady white. Then the next one is blinking red, solid red, blinking orange, solid orange, blinking yellow, solid yellow, blinking green, solid green, blinking light blue, solid blue, or solid light blue, and then blinking regular blue, solid regular blue, and we have uh, blinking purple, it kind of looks pink, but I mean, whatever. And then a uh, solid pink or purple. Then I was like, okay, well, that's the basic colors for an RGB. So uh, why not have it do like a rainbow? So I was like, why not have it do a rainbow? So we have that mode. And then after this, it goes into, it goes into a fade. So I have white fade. Then I have red fade. Green fade. And then a blue fade. So you can see that this this uh, 3D printed clear wheel really absorbs all the light. So that thing is, it's really lit up. Uh, just to show you, it's not 
It's not from the LEDs itself, like, showing on the camera. That whole thing is all lit up. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. Um, and then that's it at that. So, what I'm gonna have it do is, maybe if I turn my radio off, I'll have it bound to the point where it goes to a certain color and just blinks. Um, that way I know that my radio isn't on, but that just sounds stupid, so probably not. But anyway, guys, that's what I'm working on. So, I just have to get three more of these uh, tires or wheels going. Um, so, it should take another six hours at the library. So, hopefully I can get that done. Hopefully he can have it run overnight or not overnight. Like, um, print one while I'm there, print one after they close, and then have it just leave it there, and then... I'll be set. So yeah, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.